Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. We have a huge prediction video, slight breakdown. Uh, before we get into that, make sure you hit the subscribe, subscribe button as hard as you possibly can. Hit the two thumbs up, or thumb up, whichever. Leave a comment down below, let me know who you guys have. Let's jump right into it. Today we're talking about Nikita Krylov, the miner, <laughs> first Alec Xander. The Mulder Gustafson. Holy shit, is it cool to see him back? Start with Alexander Gustafson from Sweden. They're going to be in London. Goodness, is it going to be fun? 18 wins, 7 losses, 2 and 3 in his last 5 fights on a 3 fight losing streak. Let's talk about those 3 fights first. First fight, John Jones, ground and pound, absolutely destroyed Alexander Gustafson in that second fight. Just wasn't even competitive. In a fight, obviously, the first one was very competitive, 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 Jesus. Then he fought Anthony Smith in a fight that he was winning, looking great in, and then let Anthony Smith take his back, beat him up a little bit, and get him ready to choke. Very, very weird fight in there. Then fought Fabrizio Verdun, lost by submission armbar a year ago, almost two years ago now. And he looked so bad at heavyweight. I mean, he looked... Slow, oh, lethargic. He's the plus 160 underdog, mainly because he just hasn't fought. But 6'5, uh, 79 inch reach. Fighting Nikita Krylov, 27 wins, 9 losses, 2 and 3 as well in his last 5 fights. Lost to Mogomet and Kal uh, Kalaya by decision, and then was triangled by Paul Craig in a fight that Nikita Krylov was looking pretty good in. Uh, minus 190 favorite, 30 years old as of recently, 6'3 with a 77 and a half inch reach, so an in inch and a half for Gustafson for reach, 2 inch in height for also Gustafson. Honestly, this fight just, it, it determines which Gus shows up. I'd imagine because he's kind of close to home, that Gustafson is going to come in motivated. He's going to come in hungry. All of those questions are going to be answered when we see uh, him at the weigh-ins. We see him at the weigh-ins and the stare-downs, and he looks good. Krylov has a big, big issue, but it just depends on how the, all of those things look at that time. Nikita Krylov is good everywhere. He has dog in him. He can... Um, grind the fight out if he needs to. We have seen him do that. I just can't bet against Gustafson, even though maybe I should, but I can't do it, especially if he's on. I think he really, really puts on a showcase for for everybody that's watching. I have Alexander Gustafson, the mauler, winning the fight. I do think he could get a finish. He's very quick. He's very powerful, especially if he's light on his feet. And if he's motivated, I really, really think he beats up Nikita Krylov. Otherwise, he's probably done. He probably retires. But as always, guys, leave your comment down below. Let me know who you guys have winning this fight. And as always, peace.